So if you'd like to follow along, just go to the PowerPoint presentation I've created on Canvas. Um, my publisher presentation, it's not a journal, it is a publisher. Um, the company is called Andrews McNeil Publishing. They publish a range of media, which of course includes poetry, but it also um, includes like comic strips and just regular novels. They even have calendars and coloring books. Um, according to their website, their mission is to challenge convention to give voice to the groundbreaking comic, comic storytellers and cultural commentators of our day. They strive to take creative risks and they seek out progressive voices of our time. Their aesthetic appears to be self-help, practical, and inspirational forms of media. Um, they published the first Calvin and Hobbes book. They have an entire category on their website dedicated to humor. And they published Rapur, excuse me, Rupi Kaur's poetry and illustrations, Milk and Honey, which contributed to reviving the poetry genre and leading the category with nearly 50% of market share. So... Um, that's just to say that the marketability of poetry is really high with this company. Another really cool thing about them is their headquarters is in Kansas City. Um, they said in their website that most publishing companies are in New York and L.A., which really um, silences the voices of the Midwest authors. So they kind of have like a homely Midwestern vibe um, because of their Kansas City location. Um, regarding submissions, they publish up to 150 books annually. Um, do note, though, that this includes all the genres that they do, so probably a small percentage of that is poetry. But the submission process is relatively simple. They do accept submissions via mail or email, and they um, encourage authors and creators to review the type of work they typically publish to ensure that it is a good fit for their company. So just do the research that Hadara mentioned, just look over all of the books and the poetry that they publish to ensure that you essentially have the same vibe as them. If you were to submit online, which is the most common way of doing so nowadays, you just go to their website, which is on the presentation that I've created, and you'll scroll to the very bottom of their website and select submissions. Then you would select books, poetry option, which would then populate a series of prompts regarding the creator and the manuscript. Um, the prompts include the name, of course, your address, phone number, email, and a description of your proposal, a personal bio, and this prompt also includes any social media platforms that you may be part of. Um, and then it asks for a work sample. It does not state the criteria for the sample, so I would just fall under that four to five poems that Hadar mentioned. Um, additionally, it asks for an essay entailing why Andrews McNeil Publishing Company um, should publish your work. Um, if you were to submit my mail, you can submit it to the mailing address that I have presented in the um, PowerPoint. Um, the mailing address is on there as well. And the website states, please include a self-addressed stamped envelope of the correct size to contain your work with sufficient postage for the return of your material. Um, so essentially just have it to where they can return it if necessary. It also states don't send an original copy of your manu manuscript because they are not responsible for the loss or damage of your materials. Um, a pro of the submiss submission process is they accept submissions year-round. Um, you're not limited to when you can submit your manuscript, which I think is nice because then people aren't um, just kind of forcing their poetry to fit into a certain time frame. Um, a con of this process, which is arguable, is that um, they don't have a criteria for their submission. So it doesn't say word count. It doesn't say page count. Um, and I think that might be a good thing because of its lack of inhibition. But also, I personally just like a formal set of guidelines to get a better view of what the company is seeking out. Um, some of the poetry collections published by Andrews McNeil include Maps for the Modern World by Valerie June Huckett, which focuses on mindfulness and includes peaceful illustrations to accompany her poetry, Old Monarch by Courtney Marie Andrews, which encompasses nature, development, and identity, and The Lost Arabs by Omar Sakur, which intermingles themes of family, queerness, and nationality. Um, so what I've noticed a lot in the poetry that they have is there's a lot of minimalistic components, just very simple. There's not a lot of flowery, flowery language, excuse me. Um, 
and it seems to be um, very narrative driven, very emotional pieces, so just very personal and identity centered. Um, the poem, the sample poem I uh, posted in the presentation is called House of Beirut. It is in the collection The Lost Arabs by Omar Sakur. I hope you all will check it out. It really spoke to me. Um, thank you so much for watching.